Okay. Hello, hello, guys. Hello, good evening. How are you? How are you, Salma? Um, very good. Okay. Happy. <laughs> Perfect. Very nice. Hello, Laura, Michelle, Cesar, Dalila, Brenda. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hi. How are you guys? How are you today, Friday? Very nice. <laughs> okay. Very nice. Excellent, guys. That's perfect. So, well, today, guys, remember, we are having this class due to we didn't have a class on Wednesday, right? So, well, guys, let me share you, okay, this one. So, I have here, guys, okay, the platform, right? Here in the platform, we have, okay, this exercise. So, let me ask you this. Everybody finish the exercises of this section? Yes, no? Todos ya terminamos los ejercicios, right, guys? De la sección... Yes. Uno y dos, right? This one. Yes, Perfect. Very nice, guys. So, well, next week, guys, okay, on Monday, we are going to start, okay, with session number three. So, in this one, guys, let me tell you. Wednesday, well, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we are going to do, okay, this part. And on Thursday, the last day of the week, we are going to have the exam, okay? This exam, okay, are only exercises, okay? This is the exam, okay? But it will be for next week, okay? So, well, today, let's see, uh, okay, 59. So, well, we are going to wait, guys, for the rest to join. But let me ask you, do you have any question about the topics that we have seen? Yes, no? Alguna pregunta? Acerca de la plataforma o algo? Yes, no? Nothing, any, no inconvenience. Okay, guys, perfect. Okay, so, well, guys, let's see. We are going to review, okay, some topics that we haven't seen so far, okay? So, well, let's see. Yesterday, guys, we were discussing about this, right? How to make a question using do and does, right? So, this is something that you have to handle, okay, that you have to have in your pocket now because we have seen this so many times, Okay. Es algo que ya todos sabemos, right? Cómo utilizar do, cómo formar una pregunta, cómo responderla, right? Cuando utilizar does, do, okay? So if you see, we have it here. Cuando es don't or doesn't, right? This one. So we all know this one already. So let's see. Now, guys, I have it here, okay? Uh, this is, okay, a new conversation for you, okay? Let's see, I'm going to choose, let's see, son of you, uh, I'm going to choose Selma. Hello, Selma. Hello, teacher. Okay, Selma. So you're going to be Linda and Jose Luis Castro. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Jose Luis. You're going to be Chris, okay? So you can okay. help me reading this, please. You can start. Uh, the... This apartment is great. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need loads of, of things. There are some chair, chairs in the kitchen, but, but there is not a table. And there is no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs, there's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Okay, very nice, perfect. Thank you, Selma Jose, thank you very much. Yes. Okay, guys, so now we have this conversation about furniture, okay? So this one is furniture, okay, furniture, okay, guys? Now, let's see. Anyone, what is this conversation about? The que es esta conversación? Anyone? Yes? For the tie is mobiliario. The mobiliario, I was say. Exactly, yeah. Mobiliario, yeah. Some muebles. Uh, equipar un apartamento. Ajá, es como que necesitara algo. Necesita una mesa. 
Okay. okay. Yeah, exactly. There is an, a table, right? Perfect. So, guys, here we have, okay, a new topic that we are going to see, okay? We have here, there is an, there's, okay? We are going to see about there is, there are, and there is, okay? Let's see. Here we have this topic for today, okay? So, let's focus on this one. This is there, okay? There. There, we have there is, we use there is only for one thing, okay? Just one thing, okay? So it's singular. And we use it, okay, for this example. There is a boy, there is a book, there is an apple, there is a car, there is a woman, okay? So there means como hay, okay? Uh, hay un niño, hay un libro, hay una manzana, un carro, una mujer, okay? Hay, there Si le quieren traducir al español, significa como I o a I, ¿ok? Now, we have there are, there are is for plural, ¿ok? Two or more things. So, for example, there are two oranges, ¿ok? Two. There are three people. People is plural, ¿ok? Plural. Because people, there are more than one person, right? So, there are five glasses, a woman, there are four girls, ¿ok? There are plural. There is sing. Got it, guys? So now let's see. Let's move on. Here we have some examples, okay? So we have there is a bed in the bedroom, okay? There is no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen, okay? If you see, guys, we have there's, there's significa, guys, there is. If you see there's, there is, right? There is. Now, we have these two ways to say in negative. Negativo, guys, podemos decir, there is no o there isn't, okay? No hay, no hay, no hay, okay? For example, there is no sofa in the bedroom. No hay un sofá en la cama. There isn't a table in the kitchen. No hay una mesa en la cocina, okay? There isn't, no hay. Okay, and we have in plural, there are, okay, there are some chairs in the kitchen, there are no chairs in the living room, there aren't any chairs in the living room. If you see, guys, another, okay, this is for plural in negative, there are no, or there aren't, okay, there aren't. Got it, guys? Yes, no? Everything is clear so far? Hasta aquí todo claro? Yes, no? Yes. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Oops, sorry. Now, guys, let's see. Here I have, okay, how to create, okay? If you see here, okay, I have here how to create a sentence. Let's uh, start with the first one, okay? So we have, okay, para una oración positiva, okay? Let's see. For positive sentence, okay, we use, let's see, there is, okay, this is, okay, using is, okay? So we have there is, okay? La regla es primero there, luego is, luego a, o am, dependiendo, okay? Y luego el complement, okay? Complement, there is a, for example, a bed, okay? Or there is a book, okay? Now in negative, I can say there is not, okay? There is no a book. Okay, there is no a book or oh, there isn't a book, okay? You see, guys? Also, puedo utilizarlo, okay, contractado, okay? There is no, okay? There is no a book. You see, guys? Easy, right? So, N for, okay, for R, Lo único que se cambia, guys, es there are books, okay? There are no books. There aren't, okay, books. No hay libros. ¿Se dan cuenta? Books, plural, right? Plural, because if I use are, okay, el complemento, okay, o el sujeto en este caso, el objeto, Debe de ir en plural, okay? Because I'm using R. Okay, guys? Got it? 
Okay, teacher. Yes. Perfect. Very nice. Now let's see. Let's move on, guys. I have here something else. Okay. So now let's uh yes, let's start with this first quiz. Okay. Let's see. I have here, guys, this little exercise for you. Okay. So well, here, guys, there a sofa in the living room. ¿Cuál creen que es el correcto, guys? Is, 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 there is a sofa in the living room. There is a sofa in the living room. Perfect. Very nice. Now this one. There are okay, four chairs in the kitchen. Are. Uh, there there are, are. 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 Perfect. There are. Plural. Now this one. There are a black there. armchair in the living room. Is. Is. is 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 there, there is. is there is or there is, is it, guys there is there is okay because it's not black exactly i'm sure guys is este okay recordemos el sillón para there uno is. so is porque no hay uno black okay now this one uh, there. <laughs> there is. Big bag is big bag. sand. Now this one. Two beds. There are. There are. Are perfect. Now this one. Are. There. Are is not. Are. Perfect. Very nice. Now, what about this one, guys? <laughs> bookshelf. What is a bookshelf, guys? This is a teacher. Estante de los de los libros. Exactly. Um, yeah. El estante de los libros. There is. Okay, hey, nice. Now, what about this one? There is. There is. There is. There is. There is. Now, what about this one, guys? More, more. There is. There is. There is. There is. There are uh, there perfect. Sí, there uh, are mirrors, espejos, right? Solo hay uno. Sí, exactly. Solo hay uno. Now this one. Mm. There is oven. Uh, ¿qué, ¿Qué es oven? What oven. is oven, guys? Okay. ¿Qué era oven? Sobre. Yes. Is. 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 There is. Okay, is. very nice. Is. Oven. And what is oven, guys? Oven, mm. oven is no. como el horno, no. okay? es el horno, ah, es hello. el horno, if you see, aquí tiene un horno, right, horno, now this one, oh. no. okay. Okay. wardrobe, el wardrobe, el wardrobe, is, 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 there is mm. is or is in guys mm. wardrobe is. Is. wardrobe guys uh, is el guardarropa not, okay uh, guardarropa no sería de dicen okay teacher y la alfombra de rug rug exactly rug what's the pronunciation rug rug Mm -hmm. right. Okay, <laughs> now this one. Are there are there are perfect. And the last one, guys. Shower. Hey, there is okay. Great, very nice, guys. Okay. Let's see, I'm gonna mute all of, all of you, sorry. It's okay, guys, perfect. We got, okay, the perfect score. So that's very nice, guys, cool. Now, let's see, guys. Well, do you have any question about there is or there are? 
Yes, no? No. Everything is clear so far? Okay, now guys. <laughs> just to make, okay, more understandable, okay, this one. Here I have the rules, okay? So there is y there are, okay? So we have it here in Spanish, okay? Está en español. So in Spanish, significa I, okay? There significa I, okay? And we can use it for singular, okay, or plural. So let's see. First of all, the singular. There is or there are not, or there is not, right? So, dice que lo ocupamos, okay? Podemos utilizarlo en oraciones positivas o negativas, right? Para el singular, okay? Now, here we have some examples. There is a bank near your house. Hay un banco, okay? Hay un banco cerca de tu casa, okay? There is one good restaurant down the street. Hay un buen restaurante, okay? Hay, okay? And also, it say que uh, también lo podemos estructurar de esta manera, okay? There is como there's, okay? There's, que significa lo mismo, okay? But also we have there is not, okay? There is not. So, for example, there is not a bank near your house. No hay un banco cerca de tu casa, okay? No hay un banco cerca de tu casa, okay? There is not one good restaurant down the street, okay? No hay un buen restaurante, okay? Bajar, al bajar la calle, okay? Now, guys, there are or there are not, okay? Ahora, vamos a ocupar el there are, que es para plural, okay? Para decir dos o más cosas, okay? So, for example, there are two bookstores in the city. Hay dos librerías, okay? Bookstores, librerías, okay? Librerías. There are some pencils on the table. Pencils, plural, okay? So, hay algunos bolígrafos sobre la mesa, okay? Now, we have there are not, there are not, Okay, I know I, right? Oh, no I. So, for example, there are not two bookstores in the city. No I, there are not, no I dos librerías, okay? There are not any pencils. No I lápices sobre la mesa, okay? Ninguno. There are not, okay? There are not, okay? And también podemos decir there aren't, okay? Several shoppings, okay? There aren't, okay? There aren't or there are not uh, significa no. lo mismo, okay? Got it, guys? El foco de aquí, por... um, sorry, guys. I'm going to mute all, all of you. I apologize. So, well, guys, let's see. I have here, okay, guys, for you an exercise, okay, that we are going to do. But first of all, let's see. I want to see if we have any questions so far. Si hay alguna pregunta, alguna duda que ustedes todavía no entiendan de esto, yes, no. No. No, teacher. Okay, everything is clear. Okay, so well, guys, now let's see. Let me show you something, okay, that you probably uh, will face, okay. Creo que ya todos sabemos cuando utilizamos el a o el an, right? So if you don't know, let me explain you, okay. So, chicos, por ejemplo, cuando decimos there is a bookstore, okay, ocupamos a, okay, pero cuando decimos there is an elephant, ocupamos an, but why? ¿Por qué, chicos? Okay, this is very easy. Vamos se, a ocupar... se pone cuando va una vocal antes, la palabra que va antes de an tiene que ser una vocal. Ok, una vocal, tiene que ser una vocal. La, okay. Y solo A es cuando van las consonantes, antes de la A, las consonantes. Yo, yo tenía entendido otro concepto. Ok, ¿cuál es eh, el concepto? Por, mm -hmm. ese, según tenía entendido yo, vamos a utilizar el en cuando, cuando una pronunciación se escucha como, como, una, como un vocal. Pero con, hay, por ejemplo, hay palabras que suenan, y podemos, podemos llevar un vocal como en Apple. Exactly. Entonces, suena Exacto. como, consan, como Exacto. vocal, ¿verdad? Porque Ex vocal. Exactly. Ah. So, guys, okay. let me... Ok, yeah. All of you are correct. Todos están correctos. ¿Qué? Tiene que ir a con una vocal. Sin embargo, es como el compañero me enseñó, ¿ok? No va a ser solo porque la letra sea así, sino es por el sonido, ¿ok? El sonido, ¿ok? La pronunciación. 
So, primero veamos esto, ¿ok? Antes de un sonido de consonante, chicos, vamos a agregar a. Por ejemplo, a book, a car, a dog. ¿Y qué significa a? A significa un, un una, un. ¿ok? A book, a frog, a lemon. Ahora, cuando sea un sonido, ¿ok? Sonido de vocal, el que vaya después, vamos a utilizar an. An apple, a apple, right? An egg, egg, egg. An insect. E, ok. An orange, O, orange, ok. An umbrella actor, ok. But guys, aquí tenemos, ok, que es solo el sonido, ok. Be careful, ok. Be careful, sean cuidadosos, ok. Cuidado. Tenemos a house. ¿Cuál es el sonido aquí, chicos? Es, es el sonido de la H, right? House, house, ok. Pero, ¿qué pasa aquí? En esta, an hour. Ese es un sonido de, de H, hour, hour. ¿Mm? No, right? Es un sonido de vocal, a, ah, hour, hour, an hour. ¿Ok? La H aquí es silent, ¿ok? Silent. No se pronuncia, ¿ok? Por eso es que se agrega an, an hour, a house. ¿Ok? Por eso es el sonido que sigue después, ¿ok? El que tenemos que ver si vamos a agregar a o an. A, sonido de consonante. Y A, sonido de vocal. For example, tenemos este sonido de vocal. An uncle, uncle, ¿ok? Uncle. Pero tenemos esta. A university, university. No crean que este es el sonido U, ¿ok? That's not, esa no es U. El sonido aquí es U, U, U. Como decir esta vez, U. Como decir U, de, de tú, ¿ok? U, ¿ok? So, that's why, ¿ok? Por eso es que es el sonido. Got it, guys? ¿Entendidos aquí? Okay. Got it. Got it. Perfect, guys. Ok. So, remember, ¿ok? We have to have this in mind, ¿ok? Now, guys, let's see. Let's move on. Because I have here, ¿ok? A quiz that is only for you, ¿ok? So, I have this exercise, ¿ok? So this one is like the previous one, okay? Este es casi igual que el anterior, okay? However, in this one, you are going to do it alone, okay? Ustedes lo van a hacer solos, okay? So guys, okay. Les, les voy a compartir el link aquí en el chat box de Zoom, okay? So you can get it, pueden tenerlo. And you can start doing that. Déjenme enviárselos también al grupo de WhatsApp, right? So you can get it, okay? At the end of this exercise, guys, okay, you can send me um, a screenshot or photo, right? So let's see. Let me copy the link and send it to you. Let's see. Okay. So, guys, it's already here in the chat box of Zoom, so you can start doing now, okay? I'm going to share okay, you. It's for ahorita. Yes, exactly. It's for this instant, okay? Pueden iniciar a hacerlo. Ahorita les comparto al grupo de WhatsApp, ok, so now, ok, ya está el grupo de WhatsApp, así que podemos iniciar haciéndolo, ok, it's very easy, ok, no es tan complicado, chicos, ok, it's very easy, es como lo que estuvimos haciendo, right, ustedes van a ver si es una pregunta o no, right, so, for example, esta es una pregunta, right, guys, it say, a big sofa in the living room, ¿cómo sería aquí, chicos? A big sofa in the living room. Is there a big sofa in the living room? Are there oh. a big... Oh. Which is one? There. Is there. Is there. Is there. Is there. Is there. ¿Por qué is there, guys? ¿Por qué? Porque, Porque es una pregunta. Una... Exacto. Al final... Exacto. Tiene que ver al final si es una interrogación. Si es una interrogación... Es como las demás oraciones, right, guys? Lo que va primero va a ser el verbo, que okay? el verbo to be, luego el there, y lo que sigue, okay? el complemento. So let's see, guys, okay? Let's start doing this very easy. You have the link right now, okay? So come on, guys, let's see. If you have any question, you can also let me know, okay? Thank you. 
Okay, let's see who will be the first one to send it. Okay, there are only 10, right guys? Just 10, you can decide if there is, there are n. Okay, there are, is there, okay, very easy. Oh, remember that all this vocabulary is something that we have seen, right? Este vocabulary is algo que ya hemos estado viendo, right? Furniture. So come on, guys, let's see. Okay. Okay, have Jennifer. Okay, Jennifer. Okay, now you're around of 10. Perfect. So, what about the rest, guys? Come on. Let's see. We are 20, 23 already. Okay, very nice. So, I guess everybody connected today. So, thank you very much, guys, for being here. I know it's Friday, right? Okay, Jose Luis. Okay, 8 out of 10. Perfect. Okay, guys, come on. No, you can do it. Come on. Really easy exercise. Okay, Barbara. Okay, very nice. Nine out of 10. Perfect. Okay, come on, guys. Come on. If you have any question, okay, you can let me know, okay? So come on, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, Roxana. Very cool. Perfect. So guys, let's see. Remember, this vocabulary is something that we have seen, right? So please, okay, if you don't know any word, try to translate it. Okay, guys, I've seen. Okay, Michelle, Evelyn, Jose. Okay, nice. Come on, guys. Uh, um, okay. So, well, now, guys, well, for the ones, okay, let's see. Let's give you, like, two minutes more, okay? Come on, guys, two minutes. Come on. I mean, you can send it any time, okay? Pueden enviar en cualquier tiempo, do not worry. But come on, if you can do it now, hurry up, right? Because we have, okay, some other topics to see, okay? Tenemos más temas que ver, right? So come on, let's see. Okay, tell me. Okay, Laura, cool. Melissa, perfect. Okay, very nice. A mí se me está trabando, teacher, por eso no lo he enviado. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, do not worry. Yeah. Sometimes it okay. It starts. Sí, a mí me pasa a veces que se traba a veces la página, right? So do not worry. Pero si sienten que ya no les avanzó la página y quedó ahí, please refresh it. Okay, refresh it. Okay, so, so perfect. Okay, guys, now let's see. The, okay, you can continue doing, okay? Pueden continuar haciendo, okay? Now, for the ones that finish, para los que ya terminamos, chicos, vamos a ver qué tan bien estamos, okay? Acerca de A o AM. What do you think, guys, is the correct answer? A or B? A. 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 Nice. Now this one. A or B? B. 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 B, perfect. Now, letter A or B? It is a notebook. It is a notebook. A. 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 Okay. A. Okay, A or B, guys? A. 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 Very nice. Okay, now this one. A or B? A, B, B. A or B? B. Okay. B. Perfect. B. Yeah. Letter B. Perfect. L. Now this one. It is an apple. A. 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 Perfect. A. Okay. A or B? It is a pen. It is a pen. Letter B. 
Okay, very cool. Now this one, A or B? A. 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 Perfect. Okay, very nice. Okay, we got it. Perfect. Now, let's see. I'm going to choose some of you to explain me this rule, okay? Let's see. Uh, let's see. I'm going to choose uh, Tatiana. Hello, Tatiana. Hello. Hi, Tatiana. Tell me why in the first question is this one and not the previous one. Porque es an. ¿Lo puedo decir en español? Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Es an porque inicia con vocal. Exacto, inicia porque la palabra inicia o porque el sonido inicia. Es inicia por... y se pronuncia yeah. con exactly. orange. Es por el sonido. Exactly, por el sonido, right? La pronunciation, okay? La pronunciación de esta palabra es con vocal, right? So perfect, very nice. Okay, now let's see this one. Uh, let's see, Laura, tell me this one, please. ¿Por qué es esta y no la anterior? Porque es con I, no an. Por la misma razón de que por el sonido eh, no empieza con vocal, sino con una. Okay, yeah, exactly. Very clear, very nice, guys. So, well, I guess we don't have any question about a or an, right? No tenemos ni una pregunta acerca de esas, right? Right, guys? No, teacher. Okay. No, teacher. Okay, very cool, guys. Very cool. Okay, so, well, let's see, guys. Uh, let me just check something. Yeah. Okay, guys. Now, Let's move on, okay, because there is something else to see, okay, before to continue with the platform, okay. We are going to see now, guys, okay, the use of some and any, okay. But first of all, guys, primero, quiero ver qué tan bien estamos, qué tan, qué tan familiarizados estamos con esto, okay. So let's see. So guys, what do you think is the correct one here? ¿Cuál creen que es la correcta aquí? Some or any? Some. 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 Any. Some. Okay. Some. No, any. B. Okay. ¿Quiénes dicen some? Mm. Levanten la mano, please, on Zoom. Who says Ma. some? Mommy. Okay. Two, three. Okay. Three. Okay. Three people. Okay. Four, okay, for some. Now, let's low, lower your hand, okay? Ahora, los que dicen any, please, raise your hand. Okay, four, okay. Five, okay, four, five, okay. So, okay, five, so la mayoría dice que es any. Let's see, exactly, it's any, cool. Now, what about this one, guys? Mm. There is milk in the fridge. Some or any, guys? What do you think? A. A or B? A. 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 Ah, sí, es cierto. Sí, es okay, yes, some. Perfect. Now, what about this yeah. one? There aren't eggs at home. Some or any? There aren't any. Any. Some. Any? No. Hey. Any. Mm -hmm. Any. No. Any. No. No. Any. Okay. Okay, la mayoría dice any. So let's see. Exactly, it's any. Cool. We are getting, guys. Now, this one. I don't have money. Any. <laughs> any okay any are you sure it's any sure guys okay so exactly it's any now this one he doesn't have friends 
Some or any guys? I, I don't have Some, any. Some, any. Some, any. Are you, are you sure? Any friend. Okay. Exactly. Now let's see the last one. This one. There are parrots in the cage. Tell me, guys. Cage yeah. is howl, okay? Howl, cage. There are parrots in the cage. And some. Some. Okay. Some. Pa parrots, some pericos, okay? Parrots. Pericos. Parrots in the cage. Okay. Now, which one? A or B? There's so okay. Okay. Letter A. Okay. Okay. Letter C, I heard. Okay. Let's see. Exactly. Yes. Okay, guys. Perfect. Very cool. Yeah. I have a question. Tell me. What, what is the rule between any and some? Okay. So that's what we are going to see right now. Okay. Now, guys, we are going to see the use of some and many and any, sorry, and how to use it, okay? So we have the first one, okay, some. Some in the Spanish, you can translate it as algo de, okay, algo de or algo, okay? So they have many meanings, okay? Now, for example, we have here, I have some money. Tengo algo de dinero, I have some money. So, guys, ¿cuándo vamos a utilizar some? En oraciones afirmativas, okay? Positive sentences, okay? Positive sentences. Solo para eso utilizamos some, okay? So, tenemos este ejemplo. Si se dan cuenta, there is. ¿Qué era there is, guys? O there, ¿qué I, significa? Hi. 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 No, there is some water in the bottle. Hay algo de, okay? Some, I, algo I, de agua, agua en la botella, okay? En la botella. Okay? La... Exactly. So, we can use it, okay? Dice que lo utilizamos en los nombres incontables, okay? So, for example, money, we cannot mm -hmm. count the money, right? El dinero no lo podemos contar, right? No. I mean, la idea, el dinero, menos que sean billetes, right? O monedas, sí, pero el dinero, la palabra en sí, la idea abstracta, no. no Al contar. igual que el agua, okay? El agua, usted no puede contar el agua, right? So, Todos los liquids, guys, todos los líquidos no se pueden contar, ¿ok? Eso es algo que tienen que tener en mente. Now, dice que también utilizamos some para los contables, ¿ok? No lo utilizamos incontables, pero también para contables. Siempre en plural, ¿ok? Siempre en, plu siempre en plural, sorry. So, en este caso, some se va a, va a significar algunos o algunas, ¿ok? ¿Ok? Y siempre lo utilizamos en oraciones positivas, ¿ok? For example, there are, ¿ok? ¿Se dan cuenta? Pasamos del there is, que era singular, al plural. There are. There are some pictures. Exactly, on some pictures wall. on the wall. Hay algunos Hay cuadros en la pared. Hay algunos cuadros en la pared. Cool, exactly. You see, guys, she's playing with some friends, ¿ok? Ella está jugando con algunas o algunos amigos, ¿ok? Se dan cuenta, ok? This is plural, right? Friends, porque ya va es, right? Friends. So, there are, there is, ok? So, in general, some significa algunos, algo de, algunas, right? Y se utiliza para el singular, para los no countables y countables, ok? Pero lo que lo distingue de any es que some solo va a ser para oraciones afirmativas o so positive sentences. Got it, guys? Entendido? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sea, teacher, que, mm -hmm. yes, que para el ENI eh, solamente se va a utilizar cuando las oraciones son negativas. Exactly. So, ahora vamos a ver eso. Okay? So, cuando utilizamos ENI, okay? dice que utilizamos ENI en los incontables, okay? los que no se cuentan. Okay? And what is the meaning of any in Spanish? Significa nada de, ok? Nada de, ok? So, for example, lo utilizamos en oraciones negativas. Let's see. I don't have any money, ok? I don't have any money. No tengo nada de dinero. Sorry. There isn't, you see, there isn't 
Okay. Any water in no the hay. bottle. ¿Se dan cuenta? No hay nada de agua en la botella. Okay. Any. There isn't any. Okay. You see, ¿se dan cuenta que cómo viene un tema con el otro? There isn't any. También, guys. Okay. Any lo utilizamos para negativos y para hacer preguntas. Okay. Viene con preguntas. Okay. Y en preguntas significa algo de. Okay. So any. Es para negativo y pregunta. Okay? Interrogative and negative sentences. So, for example, do you have any money? ¿Tienes algo de dinero? Do you have any money? Is there any water in the bottle? ¿Hay algo de agua en la botella? Okay. So, any es para los incontables. Okay? Para solo para negativo y pregunta. Pero uh -huh. any también lo utilizamos para los contables. Okay? Así que tanto son como any, ustedes pueden utilizar countables and uncountable nouns, okay? So, we have for uncountables, any in Spanish is ningún o ninguna, right? As negative, como, como negativo, right? And también significa algunos o algunas, okay? For example, in plural, there aren't any pictures on the wall. No hay cuadros ninguno, right? Any significa como ninguno, ¿ok? No hay cuadros en la pared, ¿ok? Are there any chairs in the room? ¿Hay algunas sillas en la habitación? ¿O, o hay sillas en la habitación? Got it, guys? Mm. ¿Entendido hasta aquí? Let's see, let's... Ok, no, no, no. Ok, let's make a review, ¿ok? So, some, chicos. Some, ustedes lo van a utilizar para, los, para singular y plural, ¿ok? Para todas las oraciones singulares o plurales. Solo para oraciones afirmativas, ¿ok? Oraciones afirmativas, ya sea singular o plural, ¿ok? Y any, chicos, any, ustedes lo van a utilizar para oraciones negativas o para hacer una pregunta, tanto singular como plural. ¿Got it? Y las preguntas pueden ser negativas. Exactly, can be negative. Si son negativas, ya de por sí es any, ¿ok? Si es negativas, okay. any. Negativo, any. Jamás vayan a ocupar negativo, come some, ¿ok? Some solo es okay. afirmativo, okay? afirmativo, any negativo. Si quieren poner verlo de esa manera. Some positive, okay. any negative, okay. y any, remember, also questions. Okay? También pueden hacer preguntas con any. Okay? So now, guys, let's see. Let's see if we okay, haven't seen this. Uh, so, guys, ahora les va a tocar a ustedes. Okay? So I have here this new quiz for you. Okay? Ustedes van a decidir cuál de estas es la correcta, ¿ok? Van a escoger entre some and any, ¿ok? Ahora, les voy a enviar este link, ¿ok? Aquí en el chat box de Zoom, pero, also, pero también se los voy a enviar al grupo de WhatsApp, ¿ok? So, let's start doing the exercise, please. Si hemos haciendo las ejercicios. Si, ¿Mm -hmm? ¿Qué significa magazine? Magazines. Magazines son revistas, ¿ok? Man, en este caso, mm. let's see. Uh, magazines, yeah. revistas, magazines. Okay, guys, you have already the links, okay? You have the links, okay? Ya se los compartí, so you can review it, okay? Pueden, podemos iniciar con some and any, right? Recordemos, some guys positive, any negative, some positive, any negative, but any, pero any también van las questions, okay? Las preguntas. Okay, that's the rule that you have Ay, to know. Ana Bella ya me mandó otro link y no lo encuentro. Angeli. Okay, guys. And so let's see. Okay. Uh, where was I said here? Okay, guys. Come on. Let's do it. Only 10 questions, guys. Okay. So you, I know you can do it. It's very easy. Okay, el vocabulario es de algo que me acaba de mandar. Ya lo van a contestar y... Okay, let me mute everybody. So you can do it. If you have any question, you can let me know as well. Okay. So let's see. Let's start. Come on, guys. Let's see.
Okay, you have the first one, Jenny. Okay, nine out of 10. Okay, very cool. Okay, let's see. Okay, very nice. Okay, come on guys, what about rest? Okay, very cool, Evelyn, Laura, Christopher. Okay, 10 of 10, cool, very nice guy. Brenda, okay guys, you see? Okay, some positive, any negative and question. That's the only thing that you have to know, okay? When to use it, okay? So some means algo, right? Algo, algo de, right? Algunas. And any means nada de, okay? Nada o algo de también, okay? So come on, guys. Okay. Now, let's see. Guys, also, I'm going to help you sending this link, okay? Le voy a dar también enviándoles este link, okay? De esta página, so you can see it later, okay? You can see this information later, and you can study, right? Also, you will see more information about, okay, other things, so you can see it, right? Let's see. Picture. Yeah. Picture, I have a question. Yeah. Y a lo, a lo, cuánto, cuándo lo utilizamos? A lot. Okay. Let's see. Um, well, I've sent you the link, right? Let's see. Let me show you here. Okay, I have here a lot. So a lot, that's you know the most useful thing. Okay, a lot you can use it for countables and uncountables, right? So a um, lot of es como la sustitución de much and many. Okay. Puede significar mucho, muchas, okay. It's singular and plural, okay? So for example, there are a lot of pictures on the wall. Hay muchos cuadros en la pared. Oh, I have a lot of money. Tengo mucho dinero, okay? Muchos, muchas, mucho, mucha, right? A lot of means y that. Tenemos que decir a, lot. a lot of. You can, you can a say lot. I, a lot, a lot of, or a lot, okay? But a lot, solo a lot, um, I recommend you better to use a lot of, okay? A lot, se puede decir, también puedes decirlo, pero es más común decir a lot of, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Don't worry. So, guys, you can have, okay, this information, esta información, la van a tener en el grupo de WhatsApp, okay? Tienen el link. Uh, also, van a ver much and many, pero much and many es algo que ustedes ya han visto, right? So, also, you are going to see several, okay? So, guys, let's see. I guess everybody finished, okay? So, let's move on, okay? Movámonos a little bit, okay? So, let's see. We have, okay, in our platform, guys, in la plataforma, tenemos este ejercicio, okay? So, guys, ahora creo que ya somos capable to finish, okay? So, let's see. We have the first one. Let's say, I have some chairs in the kitchen, okay? And it says chairs in the kitchen, Okay, what do you think is the current one here, guys? Mm -hmm. There are no, there's yeah. are, there are some, there's no. There are some, there are some. There's a, there's a, there's a. There are no. There are some. There are no. There are no. Okay. Mm. So what do you there think? Are there are hey. some. There are hey. some. There are some. Hey. There now are let's some. see this one. I have a stove there in the kitchen. Stove, no, what is a stove, a guys? A stove? A stove. A stove. Exactly. I have a stove in the kitchen. A stove in the kitchen. There's a, there's no, there are some, there is an a. There is a. There is a. Okay, there is a. Now, I don't have a refrigerator. Refrigerator. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. There's no. There's no. There's no. Okay. Now, I don't have curtains on the windows. Curtains on the windows? Oh, sorry. Which one? Uh, no, I don't know. 
there are no. 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 There there are any, there are yes, any, there yes, are exactly. Any. I guess, yeah, in this one, uh, I remember, well, yeah, there are many ways to answer this one. Hay bastante formas de responderlo. So let's, let's check, creo que dice, um, uh, uh, let's see, creo que se puede, no, solo se puede escoger una, right? But let's see. No, but, okay, but yeah, we, we can say like that, so. Let's see, let's take, uh, let's take this one. Really? Well, it's okay. Really, well. Pero, ambas se pueden. Okay, en este caso, ambas se pueden, pero creo que el sistema solo deja una. Now, let's see this one, guys. I don't have any rocks on the floor. Rocks on the floor? Uh, any, I'm not sure there are there are no there are there are any there are any there are any there are in this case was there are, there are no okay cool okay so oh, se quito, bueno. but yes there are no okay however guys i don't have any rocks on the floor there are okay. ambos. Exactly, yeah. In este caso están pero, ambas, pero sí pero, se pueden ambas, yeah. Creo que uh, es por la plataforma. La plataforma solo creo que solo deja una respuesta, right? In este caso, well, just this one. Pero en este caso se pueden estas dos, okay? Okay, creo que por eso muestra el doble check aquí. Now we have this one. There's no, okay? Perfect. Also, let's see. I have stuff in the kitchen. Okay, very cool. Okay, guys. So I guess you know about this one, right? Creo que ahora veo más fácil el ejercicio, right? Mm, el siguiente, Sayuk. El siguiente. Okay, guys. <laughs> Let's see. What is the next one, guys? The next one is a reading, right? It's some reading que tenemos, right? So, guys. Well, let's be clear, guys. ¿Quién hicieron esto, okay, by your own? Yo lo hice. Okay. Yo, yo. Okay. Yo también. Hey, Michelle. Yo no sabía. Y esa señora sí Yo lo hice. Okay, very nice. Okay. So, guys, let's see. We are going, okay, to do this one. This is the thing that we are going to do. Okay. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita. Okay. So, let's see. Okay, guys. Now, I want you guys, let me make it bigger. I guess you can see it better. Creo que todo podemos verlo bien, right? So, guys. Yeah. I'm going to give you, uh, let's see, 50. Yeah, we have time. So until 55, okay? Like three minutes to read this, okay? Empecemos a leer esto, okay? This exercise, okay? Everybody, I want you to read this, one, okay? Quiero que todos leamos esto y tratemos de entenderlo, okay? By your own. Ustedes solo se lean lo que hay en su casa, estén leyéndolo en este momento y analizando, que okay? entiendan. Okay, yes, okay. Then I'm going to ask you some questions, okay? So let's start reading, okay? So I will help you. Every day, every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people oh, stay in traditional Native I American homes. Called uh, Hogan's. Lauren Nelson, a teacher from, uh, let's see, I'm going to mute, sorry. A teacher um, from Arizona invites visitor to stay in her hogar. Uh, it has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stove. Miss Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Okay. So this is, uh, let's see, Laurie Nelson. Okay, guys, let's see, Laurie Nelson, let's see. So it's this one, right, the second one. Okay, so here is asking me, there is a, okay, me está preguntando que agregue que hay ahí, okay, según okay. en la casa de Laurie okay. Nelson. There is what, guys? Que hay en la casa de ella? There is a... The let's see. Es en la otra. Uh, 
No, this is Lorraine Nelson. Lorraine, estamos leyendo Lorraine, esta. Lorraine Nelson. Okay. Ah, sí, sí, sí. It has three chairs. Three okay. chairs. Okay, pero sí. three And chairs. There Entonces are... sería, there are three chairs. There are three okay. chairs. ¿Qué más hay? Mm -hmm. Let's see. There uh, are two beds. Two beds. Two beds okay. on the bed. Y there is. On the floor. Y hay también a wood There is a wood boring stove. Okay, very nice. Perfect. Cool, guys. So let's see. Uh, let's move on. So we can. Okay. Okay, there is a wood burning stove. There are three chairs. There are two beds in the floor. Cool. Now, guys, leamos el siguiente. Okay. It says in San Antonio, Texas. Mm -hmm. There is a sorry guys, I'm going to move you because there is interference, right? So let's read with me, okay? With the microphone off. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Miss Cisneros is a Mexican American writer. She's famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mrs. Nero's house are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Nero's love it. Hey guys, let's see. Um, I guess I cannot hide the answers. Let's see, just I'm going to rephrase. So, guys, ¿qué tenemos ahí? There is what, guys? There is a, a what? Porch with a porch. pink floor. A porch, porch. perfect. There is a porch with a pink floor. There are what? Let's see. Okay, there is a porch, okay? Let's see, porch, okay? Um, Important, right? Now, there are, there are, there are what, guys? There are many books. books. Many books. Okay, many books and colorful paintings, right? Cool. What else? There are colorful paintings. There are, uh, let's there see, are. Color, colorful paintings. Okay, let's see. They're separated, but let's see. So there is a Porsche, okay, with pink floor. Okay, there are colorful paintings mm -hmm. and there are many books. Okay, guys, cool. So, well, was it difficult for you guys? Estaba difícil eso? Yes, no? Ayer que no sabías. Ayer no. Hoy que ya saben con utilizar there is, if there are. It's easy, right? Ya está más fácil, right? Ahora. Sí, sí. Yeah. So, okay, yeah. that's very cool, guys. Ahora, very easy, right? So, perfect, guys. So, well, let's see. Guys, well, this section, then, bueno, ya deberían estar terminadas para hoy, right, guys? So, next week, guys, el lunes, chicos, vamos a iniciar con this one, right? Section three. Vamos, okay, a iniciar haciendo estos. Y también vamos a tener el examen, okay? We have a bit term. The midterm is the exam, okay? So, the exam, okay, is programming for Thursday, okay? Para el jueves, okay? So, jueves, the exam, uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, vamos a tener estas clases, okay? Las clases que nos van a ayudar para resolver el exam, okay? So, well, guys, let's see. I guess we finished for today class. If you have, if you don't have any question, you are free to go, okay, guys? So, thank you for being here, and good night to everybody, okay? So, Nice. Take care and bye bye. Okay, goodbye. Bye bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.